everybody welcome back to ray so fleeky and if you are new to my channel welcome to the fleek squad um so today i'm actually doing a bit of a different um video and it's basically my first impressions and just doing a look um with the new morphe and maddie cycler palette um the imagination palette i really just tried to recreate um the look but also just add my own like little twist to it um, so if you want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. So right now I'm just priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the color Eden. It's a really, really light beige. I don't want to call it a nude because it's not my nude. Nude is not just one color. Um, so I'm using, patting that all over my eyelid and using that as my eye base. Um, and that's just really going to make those colors pop in the palette. taking the color M3 that's the middle shade in the first row and I'm going to use that kind of as a transition shade um, just to get the eye look to blend a little better when I try to diffuse it out later on and you'll see me talking a lot in the footage um, I didn't plan on this being a voiceover but I didn't want this video to be super duper long with me talking and explaining it as I was doing it so voiceover it is And I will put all the brushes that I use in the description box once I figure out which ones I use because I typically just grab them while I'm doing makeup. the color Dancing Queen. It's from the third row, the um, shimmering pink color, and I started packing that kind of on the um, outer corner, outer V, whatever you want to call it, of the eye, and I just started patting that in, and then I took a fluffier brush and started blend, just blending it um, out that way and just really diffusing it because I wasn't liking how the smaller flat brush was um, putting on the pigment or the shadow. to go in with the color she insists um it's like a poppin lavender kind of a darker lavender um almost on the neon side of lavender i don't really know how to explain it um in the palette it looks a lot darker than what it um showed up as on my eye um a lot of these colors were definitely darker than what i expected them to be um in terms of like the quote unquote pastel colors but with the eyeshadow base they looked a little lighter a little brighter but in the pants they definitely looked a lot a lot darker and so I'm just packing that in on the middle third or so of the eyelid um, just packing that in and blending between the pink and the purple 
and now I'm taking a oval shadow brush from Morphe again. I know that's the one at least. Um, and I'm packing on the color five. It's like the sky blue color. Um, and that's what I assumed um, was used in the look on the back of the um, packaging. I'm not really sure because they've never really said what color it was. Um, but I kind of liked how this was giving me like this like cotton candy, sugar land, candy land fun look. So I just decided to go with that. Um, and I'm just packing that color on and packing it, packing it, and packing it. going back and forth between the colors building the color blending in between colors diffusing them out and just really getting it to look how I want it to look um, as close to the end result as possible so it's a lot of blending packing on color blending and all that good stuff So next I decided to take like a pencil um, brush and add the color mint to the very, 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 very inner corner on top of the blue. Obviously not as an inner corner highlight, but I just felt like it needed some extra oomph um, to the blue. It was a little flat um, for me, so I just added in a little bit of that mint. And again, a lot darker than I expected it to be. Um, it doesn't, I mean, it's mint green, but it's just like a dark mint green. So yeah, I just added that to the inner corner. I'm just applying some mascara. This is the Essence False Lash Effect Princess Lash or some type of name like that. Um, I use that for my top and bottom lashes and then I added lashes and the lashes that I ended up adding were the um, Eyelure Jasmine Brown Collab and JB. Um, I also added that mint on the lower lash line uh, just to add a different twist, you know, to the look. I just felt like the bottom lash line was very bare and I didn't like it. So I added some black liner in the waterline and added this green underneath. And I feel like it just kind of tied everything together. And so I just felt like I needed a couple more touch ups in the pink and purple and things like that so I just finished that up before I added on um, my lashes y'all adding those lashes took me like a good five ten minutes and I don't know why and that would have made the video an extra like three minutes long so I cut that part out but that was like the finished eye look without the lashes and then I threw on some highlighter the lips and all that good stuff and I will show you the final result so it's the end of the day um and my makeup is still looking pretty good i mean i went to 
the movies, you know, social distance, of course, with my mask on. Um, and yeah, but I would must say the shadow is still popping. Um, yeah, I mean, this part kind of rubbed off a little bit because, you know, masks. Miss Rona, stop you, stop you, go, sis. But um, I got a lot of compliments on my makeup today. Um, overall, I really do like the palette. It's the typical, you know, Morphe formula. Um, yeah, I mean, I really don't know what else to say. I mean, it's a cute little palette. The fallout wasn't too crazy. Um, I do like the colors. They were easy to blend. I will say that the fourth row is definitely my favorite. Um, this row right here. It starts with Dancing Queen. Um, actually, I am curious about that one, though. Because I'm trying to see if it's a... I don't think it's... No, it's not a press pigment. Mint was a press pigment. That green, and I could tell. Because when I was putting... I put the green mint underneath um, on the lower lash line. And had a little bit more fallout than what I would have liked, but I mean, pressed pigments typically have a little more fallout. Um, and then, yeah. So that was really it. Um, oh, I just dropped it. I hope it's cracked. Let's see. It's all good. But um, yeah, the Maddie Ziegler Morphe collab, the Imagination palette. It's a really cute, fun palette. Um, it's like I thought it was gonna be a little bit more pastel, actually, based on like the packaging and her photo here. But I mean, I also am um, darker than her, so it's definitely gonna look a little different. But overall, I do like the palette. This was a fun little look to do. Got a lot of compliments. You know, this style was definitely. Oh, I got powder on my whatever but um yeah no i really really have fun with this look today these lashes are definitely not something that um i normally use i will also put every and i'll put everything in the description box for you guys um you know vibes cotton candy vibes all that good vibes all that stuff but um yeah but thanks for watching um i'll see y'all in the next one